guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I apologize if it's a little noisy. It's the first nice day we've had in a very long time. So everybody in the neighborhood is mowing their lawns right now. So I'll try to speak up and hopefully you guys can hear me. I really don't want to shut the window because it's very hot in here. But my sister is mowing the front yard right now, so I might have to. So today's video is gonna be a little different from my usual content. My usual content is usually reptile related, zookeeper related, conservation related, something along those lines. But tomorrow is my boyfriend's birthday and I figured why not show you guys what I got for him because he is a very outdoorsy kind of person. So maybe some of this can be helpful. And I mean, I feel like sometimes men are hard to shop for. So I mean, I'm always watching videos online what people buy for their boyfriends. So maybe this could help some of you. So a little background on my boyfriend. He is a very outdoorsy guy. He likes hunting and fishing. And him and his buddy literally spend all day out there. They recently built a, what I call, super extra man cave in the woods. So it's literally like this house man cave thing built out of trees and they've hung their hammocks in it and they sleep out there and they built fires out there and that's where they go to avoid their girlfriends and to ignore their girlfriends aka he sits out there all day while i sit here i'm just kidding but i do pick on him for that a lot i say it's a super extra man cave where he goes to hide from me so if you guys have a man in your life that is very outdoorsy and likes hunting and fishing and being outside maybe some of these ideas will work for you also and you, you might get this, but let me just say, I do know, I go very over the top when it comes to shopping for people. I love to buy people things and to give more than to receive. So I tend to give a lot. Um, none of it's very expensive. I'm not very good at coming up with like one expensive gift. I'm very good at coming up with lots of little gifts. So that's kind of what you're gonna see here. I got a lot of little things that just made me think of him. So the first thing is actually really funny. I picked these up this past weekend in Vermont. I went to Sierra Trading Post and found these decorative lights. So these are bass shaped LEDs. They also had a rainbow trout and I think a swordfish. They're 10 feet long and for use indoor or outdoor. They're weather resistant and it does plug in. So he can't use these in the super extra man cave. He can use these everywhere else. So the next thing I got is just a little thing to maybe top off his gift. And that is this hot venison stick. This came from Runnings. It's kind of like an outdoorsy sports store. And again, he's an avid hunter. And I was keeping my eye out for like those weird kind of jerky venison type of sticks that you see at these stores. And when I was checking out, I saw these and they were pretty cheap. So I just snagged him one. So this is um hot they also had i think like barbecue so i just got that to top it off because he eats jerky like nobody's business and i was complaining that it smells like dog food boy loves his jerky so the next thing is something i've been wanting to get him but never knew how and that is fishing lures that boy could spend all day every day fishing and so for our first christmas together i actually got him a subscription to lucky tackle box and he loved it so that is something that i can recommend if you have someone in your life that loves fishing very customizable you just select like the type of fish that they're fishing for and every month they'll get sent a box with like special lures and everything and it's just really awesome and he really enjoyed it. i think it did three months and it was like a discounted box or something so it was really affordable and it was basically like a huge gift for him every month so it was super great and he loved it. So I highly recommend that. But while I was at Runnings, I wanted to get him some lures and I know nothing about fishing. I know nothing about lures, but I tried my best. So if you actually know things about fishing, then there you go. Um, I don't, but I've gone with him to stores enough and looked at fishing stuff. And the last place we went was Cabela's and he actually had me pick out some lures. He gave me little sections that picked me three lures. So what I knew to look for, for one thing, was the depth. So I know he likes shallower lures, um, so I kind of looked at that. And of course there's lots of brands, I didn't know what to get. Um, so Google, Google's your friend. And I found out these Rapala baits, I think that's the name, Rapala, Rapala. Um, it's actually a very good company apparently. 
and these are a little more on the expensive side and he's the kind of person that won't buy expensive lures for himself so I figured for his birthday I could buy him some more expensive lures um, just kind of like a little treat for himself because he never buys his, himself expensive lures so I got him this balsa, I got him three lures so I got him this balsa extreme series BX swimmer um, it's slow sinking rolling action it's uh, four to six feet for depth and so that's what it looks like you can see it's connected I believe this one is the perch um, yeah I think this one's the perch and I was originally looking for one that was like extensive and kind of connected like that because he showed me one like that at Cabela's that I wanted to get him but I couldn't go back without him because he was the one with the truck so this one was the only one I could really find that was kind of like that um, and very good reviews so I did get him that that's kind of like his expensive treat lure um, again here's another balsa extreme series this is a bx minnow and it's buoyant and hard rolling action um, this one I wasn't planning on getting but it had extremely good reviews so I figured why not and this last one I got for looks he knows every time he brings me in I shop based on looks so when he had me pick out lures, um, he said pick three, and he only took two of the ones that I picked because I was going based on colors. And so this one is my colors. It is blue and like a green and yellow. And I just thought it was like really pretty. And this is the rip stop minnow. So it's suspending, fast ripping, and hard stopping. Um, this is three to four feet. So hopefully this is really good for him. And again, had very good reviews. So I mean, if they have good reviews, that should be all you need to know. Also, it might be helpful to know if the person you're shopping for prefers to fish deep or fish shallow and also the size fish that they're fishing. So like something like this would be better for a bigger fish or something like this would be better for smaller fish, which is the other reason I decided to get this because he does tend to fish for smaller things like bass and whatnot. So he's got a little lure for that, big lure for bigger things. And then this one, because I thought was pretty. So. We'll see how I end up doing and what he thinks of my lure picks. And I'll let you guys know if I ended up doing a good job or not. Or if you guys know about fishing, you know, you can let me know in the comments if I did a good job or not. That way I know what to expect. Okay, so the next thing has to do with conservation. You guys know I'm all about conservation and being eco-friendly. And I like to try to influence the people around me to also somewhat care about our environment. So for those of you that follow me for my more conservation eco-friendly content, Here's some good ones for you. So this is a reusable coffee mug that has cork on the outside. I got this at Aldi's and my boyfriend literally uses cups like this every day for his coffee, but they're styrofoam and he literally walks over to my house, drinks it and throws it away. And the next day comes back with a new one. Like, why don't you just get a reusable one? So no excuses, this looks exactly like the styrofoam ones he uses but it is reusable. The cork on the outside is actually real. It's real environmentally friendly cork. And I won't take the time to read it, but right here there's this little description on the cork and how it's sustainable, it's renewable, it's recyclable. Basically it's good. It helps keep your cup insulated and the temperature of your drink where it's supposed to be. And it just, it's very, very good, eco-friendly, reusable, twist on cap, fill it up, wash it, refill good to go. So again, the next thing is kind of more along the eco-friendly lines. If you haven't watched my video on palm oil, be sure to check that out. Uh, I did it back during my Halloween series and I kind of went through what is palm oil, how does it affect our ecosystems, and how your Halloween candy could be killing our wildlife. Um, so I'll do a more updated version of that just in a general sense and in modern day like everyday products um, because that was just focused on Halloween candy. So I'll do an updated version of that video, but if you're curious about palm oil, what it is, be sure to check out that video. But anyway, the next thing I got are gummy bears. So my boyfriend absolutely loves the Haribo, Harab, Haribo, Haribo, um, I don't know how to say it, but Haribo gummy bears. They're like his favorite. Every time we go to a store, he buys them. And once I pointed out to him that they have unsustainable palm oil that company is not very great um he kind of became a little more conscious about it um he, he checks the back of the packages now when he buys anything gummy he checks the back um to see if it has palm oil or not and so he's a little more aware now it doesn't necessarily stop him from buying them 
Um, sometimes if he's between the gummy bears or another gummy product that doesn't have palm oil, he'll go with that one instead. Um, but you know, he still loves his gummy bears. So what I got him are these Black Forest Organic Gummy Bears from Aldi's because they do not contain palm oil. So I told him I was never gonna buy him gummy bears again until they use sustainable palm oil because I used to buy them the big bags. And once I found out that they had unsustainable palm oil, I said no more. You know, you can buy them for yourself, but I won't buy them for you. So here we go, gummy bears that I'll buy for him. Okay, so the next two things were what was planned for his gift. Like these were supposed to be the two presents. Um, there's actually supposed to be three things that were planned, but one I completely forgot about until today. And his birthday's tomorrow, so I can't get it for him. But um, the main thing for his birthday is a hunting knife. This is a Ruko knife. This is what I drove 45 minutes yesterday to go get from Runnings, um, the place where I got that beef or venison jerky stick and the baits. Um, this was the main thing I went back to get. So I was a little worried about buying it. I wasn't sure if I would be like legally able to, if I had to have like a hunting license or something, because this thing is big. So it comes in this little container or whatever it's called for knives, a holder. Um, so I'll take it out to show you guys. This thing is massive. I'm gonna try not to hurt myself. Oops. So this is the knife. And it's really cool because on the bottom is a compass. So it's very unique. He was gonna buy it for himself and I talked him out of it so that I could buy it for his birthday. So that's another good tip is to go shopping with this person and when they point things out, you know, take a note of it in your head or take a picture of it and then go back without them and buy it. That is what I've done for pretty much any time I've gotten him a gift. Every year for Christmas, I've gotten him like some sort of hoodie or quarter zip or something from Dick's because he would come visit me at school and like sit there for literally half an hour staring at it, deciding if he wanted to buy it or not. And every time I talked him out of it so that I could get it from him for Christmas. And last year for his birthday, I got him this flag that he wanted that Again, talked him out of buying and bought it for his birthday. So it's a very good kind of sneaky way to figure out what to get that person. Go shopping with them, see what it is they want and talk themselves out of buying, so that you can get it for them. All right, and the last thing doesn't really have to do with hunting and fishing, but him and his buddy, um, the one that helped him build the super extra man cave in the woods, they both have recently created their own YouTube channels and I've known for a while, like I could tell, he's been wanting to start one. Um, he's made jokes about it for a very long time. If he's not out in the woods or on the river, he's usually sitting watching YouTube videos. So I've, I've known he'd want to start one, but him and his buddy finally did. So I got him this YouTube secrets book. It's apparently very, very good, very highly recommended by successful YouTubers. And so I figured, why not? So I also got him this. We'll see if he actually reads it. Um, of course, I'm going to skim through it before I give it to him, um, but that is something I also got for him because it kind of has to go with the Super Extra Man adventures because that's what they're filming. Fishing, hunting, building their fort in the woods, stuff like that. And the last thing I wanted to get him but totally forgot about is a marshmallow roaster fishing pole thing. So it's like a fishing pole, but the end, you put marshmallows on to roast them in the fire. Since him and his buddy have fires out at their super extra man cave in the woods, I figured that might be like something kind of funny and fun um, to give to him and totally forgot. So he's not getting that, but he's getting a lot of other things now. And yeah, so that's what I got for my boyfriend for his birthday. We'll see how much he likes everything. Hopefully he does. Um, if you have any other gift ideas for outdoorsy men, leave a comment below with your ideas and let me know. Um, that way I'll have more ideas for the future as will anyone else that goes to read the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.